This is the video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, August 17th, 2021. Um, this update is coming in a, a couple minutes late um, and with less information than I'd like again. Um, here's, where we, here's where we stand at the moment as I'm recording this. Um, I just finished watching the COVID-19 update from Lancaster County. They have now placed the, um, the risk dial for the county in orange. That will certainly have some implications for the church, um, uh, among which is that we will, we will likely move fully online, at least for, for this Sunday. Now, we have a meeting of the reentry task force that the board named uh, a year ago and renamed uh, just this summer. That meeting is tomorrow night, so I'm going to, to ask your indulgence to give us about 48 hours to figure out exactly what our path forward is right now. Um, we'll have a lot more information in the Friday e-blast and video update, and we'll, we'll walk through um, what our plan is moving forward. For now, if you have not already gotten vaccinated, please do so. Um, if you have not been in the practice of wearing masks when you go out in public, um, because I know cases were low this fall um, or this, this summer, know that cases are not low anymore. Um, and regardless of vaccination status um, for, for your own safety and those around you, um, I'd, I'd really ask that you, you wear masks at this point. Um, I think that's that's where we'll leave it. There's a there's a Howard Zinn quote that's been going around online over the last over the last few days, um, both with what's going on in Afghanistan and what's going on um, here with coronavirus. And so, I I do want to just leave it with this. Uh, this is the the historian and activist Howard Zinn, who wrote. Um, back in the 90s, that to be hopeful in bad times is not just foolishly romantic. It is based on the fact that human history is a history not only of cruelty, but also of compassion, sacrifice, courage, and kindness. What we choose to emphasize in this complex history will determine our lives. If we see only the worst, it destroys our capacity to do something. If we remember those times and places, and there are so many, where people have behaved magnificently, this gives us the energy to act, and at least the possibility of sending the spinning top of a world in a different direction. And if we do act in however small a way, we don't have to wait for some grand utopian future. The future is an infinite succession of presents. And to live now, as we think human beings should live, in defiance of all that is bad around us, is itself a marvelous victory. Howard Zinn had more cause for than most of us to know how hard history gets sometimes. And this quote from him is a reminder for me that for even the most realistic among us, there is still always an opportunity for hope. So I know uh, this news coming out of the county is not what any of us wanted to hear. In August of 2021, the news coming out of Afghanistan this week is not anything that we want to hear in 2021. But we don't get to choose what we hear on the news. We get to choose how we respond to it and how we interact with it. And so we will respond to it and we will respond to it out of a place of hope and a place of faith. I will see you all in the update on Friday where we will have more information and going forward from there. Have a good week, everybody.